Hey everybody and welcome back to another video. I haven't been on this channel for around three weeks and it's for good reason. This channel was originally going to be changed into a channel for higher production quality videos and as much as that is in the process and it is still running, this video I feel needs to be addressed to the wide majority of you guys because as much as uh, I've just uploaded now a reaction shot on me going through the map as you can see right now, this video, I'm voicing over what I'm doing right now. This is me exploring the map, and there's a lot to process, if that makes sense. Um, like, my friend on Steam was doing the exact same thing, and what we were doing were we were looking around in the map for any clues or secrets or easter eggs. Something that was noticeable, you know, straight away was the fact all the characters except Mickey and Tari and Mario from the beginning because Mario is Mario you know he's dumb so it's expected for him to look normal but everyone started becoming much more cranky and weird and let's not forget that Luigi just didn't have any reaction whatsoever he had no action no movement no change of emotion even when the book was stolen no sad Luigi face, nothing at all. And then all of a sudden Luigi starts becoming a cowboy and becoming really, I guess you could say corrupted. And fake Mario in the cowboy suit. And the real Mario, the one that is becoming more mature with as SMG4 goes on, is trapped outside. Who knows where they are and who knows where the entire cast is. You know, I'm talking, you know, SMG4, Luigi, Mario, Bob, Boopkins, uh, Kaizo, Psycho, Shreemi, everyone there except Meggy and Tari were fake and it was something that has been set up by the TV because you can't go to the front carriage in the train map you cannot go to the front carriage, it teleports you back the only way I managed to get into it was using a camera and then a tool that was found in the workshop which is called No Collision because the smart thing that they have done is the train is part of the map so you can't just use a normal collision tool so I had to do the collision tool that removes it from the world as well and it allowed it to go through and we could see the TV. The TV is what I'm assuming is running the train to whatever stop it's going to which is a trap and you know it's it's scaring me you know looking at this and we're not gonna we're not gonna you know dodge the bullet here the obvious bullet that when we go out the map too far we get teleported into a dark space a dark atmosphere with Tari becoming you know insane like timid and timid and insane at the same time like scared that something's up but something horribly wrong is happening but what I find strange is why did Tari end up there and how is there a Tari in the train which is what I find strange because the Tari looks up very sad in the train but there's also a Tari in a locked atmosphere in like a locked box kind of thing where they had where, where she literally is terrified and there, there's no light that can show her face so she looks like she's just all blacked out why I assume as well is because Maggie's been getting a little bit more crazy as well. In the episode, Maggie got a little bit more intense when she saw everyone else getting intense. She got intense herself and that scared Tari. So maybe Maggie might be Maggie, maybe Tari might be thinking Maggie is also fake. But from what I see, I see Maggie as a normal person as well and that Meggy and Tari have been tricked onto getting onto a different train in a completely different area and there's now fake fake versions of the characters on the train. Now um, also you know this is you know a, a continuation to the it's gotta be perfect thing which is exactly what I was imagining from the very start that they were definitely going to continue this 
Um, I didn't know which way they were going to go with it, but there was definitely going to be like a part two continuation of it. And that's going to be with this TV guy. He's this TV guy, Winston. He's done something and it's, it's, I, it's crazy, you know. There's so much to uncover and unpack. And I'm just going to explain that all right now in this like tiny seg segment now, all of it like a little catch up. So the thumbnail has a fake Mario and a real Mario. The real Mario is trapped behind the window, which uh, obviously Tari is spotted in the thumbnail. And so that may be why Tari is a little bit concerned. In the video, the Ouija has no reaction at all, which is quite odd, but no one takes note of that except Mario. But no one has any, you know, thoughtful process of it. Luigi is just there, gone. Like, no reaction, no emotion, similar to the Luigi.exe thing. And over time, the characters get much more crankier and aggressive. So, yeah. Um, there's that in that video. And then the exploration of the map. Uh, it, you can see that everyone seems to be fine, but everyone's a fake character. It's a trickery, trying to trick Meggy, but Tari knows. Tari knows something that Meggy doesn't. Meggy and Tari are real characters, but the other characters are fake created versions. They're somewhere else, trapped. Or they could be on PP Island, one of the two. But um, yeah, it, it's scary um, seeing this. And as you can see in the video as well, by the way, that um, the model that you see in the distance of the buildings are anchored towards the train as well. So you can't actually get to that, even if you get the camera tool. Because if you get the camera tool and you go to it you hit an invisible box all right so why don't you remove the collision of it that's exactly what I did and I went to go as far as I could and I couldn't zoom out any further with the gravity gun I simply couldn't and you're probably asking why don't you just go forward then I would end up hitting the trigger box myself and that would do weird things to the camera um, because the gravity guns coil thingy that it does to connect things would just mess up entirely and it break so yeah um i'm very worried for tari tari seems to be having some sort of spider sense so yeah tari's having some spider sense thing at the moment with everyone around her knowing that they're not real Whilst Maggie's being completely oblivious because Maggie's got her own target. She's trying to find one one shot Ren, which one shot Ren might not even be real either. It's a it's a bit of a challenge, and I'm getting this as far out as much as I can, so you guys can get the information and you guys can go off for yourself, okay? But hey, hopefully you guys enjoyed, and uh, if you want to see my reaction to it, that's in the description below. But it's. You know, it's scary.